This is hardly a time for levity. I've discovered a serious error here in the accounts of your last play. Where? Wait, what? Uh, according to the backers list, you raised $60,000. But the play you produced only cost $58,000. There's $2,000 unaccounted for. So I went to a Turkish bath. Who cares? The play was a flop. What difference does it make? It makes a great deal of difference. That's fraud. If they found out, you could go to jail. So why should they find out? It's only $2,000. Come on, Blue, do me a favor. Just move a couple decimal points around. You can do that, right? You're an accountant. The word count is in your title. But that's cheating. It's not cheating. It's charity. Look at me, Blue. Look at me. I'm... I'm drowning here. Other men, they sail through life, but Bialystok, he struck a reef. I'm going under. All right. I am being sunk by a society that demands success while all I can give them is failure. I am reaching out to you, Bloom. Don't send me to jail. Please, help. Help. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. All right, all right, I'll do it, I'll do it. Thank you, Bloom. I knew I could con you. Oh, that's all right. What? Nothing, nothing. Just, uh, do it. Oh. Well, let's see. Two thousand dollars. Isn't much. I'm sure I can hide it somewhere. It's not like the Department of Internal Revenue is interested in a show that flops. Yes, right. Good thinking. Now, you figure that out, and I'm tired, so I'm gonna take a nap. Wake me if there's fire. Now, let's see. If I add these numbers, I get... It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Under the right circumstances, a producer could make more with a flop than he could with a hit. Yes, yes, it's quite possible. If he were certain the show could fail, a man could make a fortune. Yes? Yes what? What you were saying. Keep talking. What was I saying? Under the right circumstances, a producer could make more from a flop than he could with a hit. Oh, yes, it's quite possible. Yes, you keep saying that, but how could a producer make more from a flop than a hit? Oh, it's, it's merely a matter of creative accounting. Uh, let's assume, just for the moment, that you were a dishonest man. <laughs> assume away. Well, it's easy. All you need to do is raise more money than you really need. What do you mean? You did it yourself, just on a very small scale. What did I do? You raised $2,000 more than you needed for your last play. Ah, so what? What did it get me? I'm wearing a cardboard belt. Ah, that was your error. You didn't go far enough. You see, if you were a really bold criminal, you could have raised a million. Yeah, but the show only cost 60000 to produce. Exactly. And how long did it run for? One night. You see? You could have raised a million dollars, put on a $60,000 flop, and kept the rest. What would happen if it was a hit? Oh, you'd go to jail. If the show were a hit, you'd have to pay back the backers. And with that many backers, there wouldn't be enough profit to go around. Get it? Ah, so, all right, you're saying that the scheme will only work if we find a surefire flop. What scheme? What scheme? Your scheme, you bloody little genius! No, 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 I meant no scheme. I was merely posing an academic accounting theory. It's just a thought. Bloom, worlds are turned on such thoughts. Don't you see, Bloom? Oh, darling Bloom, glorious Bloom. It's so simple. Step one, we will find the worst play that has been ever written, a surefire flop. Step two, I raise a million dollars. There are lots of little old ladies in the world. Now step three, you get to work on the books, uh, lists of phony backers, one for the government and then one for us. You can do it, Bloom. You're a wizard. And step four, we open on Broadway and before you can say step five, we close on Broadway. Mm. And then step six, we take our million and fly to Rio de Janeiro. So Rio, Rio by the CEO, Mio, Mio, Mio. Mm. No, 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 Mr. Balashek, you're, no, you're holding me too tight. You don't understand, I'm an honest man. No, you don't understand. This is fate, this is destiny. This cannot be avoided. Uh, Mr. Balashek. A mere five minutes ago, against my better judgment, I doctored your books. That's the ultimate extent of my criminal life. No! No! no I, I want keys. that I have to get money. out of here. 
You miserable, cowardly, wretched little caterpillar. Don't you want to become a butterfly and spread your wings and flap to glory? Oh, you're gonna jump on me. What? You're gonna jump on me. I know you're gonna jump on me. Just like Nero did with Pompeia. She was his wife. She was unfaithful. So he got mad, and so he jumped on her. Up and down, up and down, up and down, until he squashed her like a bug. I know you're gonna jump on me. I am not going to jump on you! Pull yourself together, man! Don't, don't touch me, don't touch me! What are you afraid of? I am not going to hurt you! What's the matter with you? I'm hysterical! I'm having hysterics! When I get like this, I can't stop! I'm wet! Oh, I'm wet and I'm hysterical! Oh! Oh, I'm in pain! I'm wet and I'm hysterical and I'm in pain! No, 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 don't do it again! It, don't, it doesn't help! But it only increases my sense of danger! Then what do I do? What do I do now if I'm getting hysterical? Just, just get away! Get away! You frightened me! Go over there! How's this? I'm way over here, okay? You still look angry! Is this better? Uh, yes. Good. Uh, I think I'm coming out of it. Yes. I'm definitely coming out of it. Uh, thank you. The smiling helped. 